Hi, welcome to the Unit 6 ex, uh, Exit Ticket um, Part 2. This is Day 6. All right, so for this Exit Ticket, your job is to answer these six questions, and you have to show your work, no work, no credit. So um, you can submit your work by doing it on a separate sheet of paper and then taking a picture of it and then uh, um, copying that picture into this document anywhere on the first page and then um, submit it. Or if you want, you can type your equation or your work directly into the document. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. But before I do that, I just wanna make sure that I point out a couple key things about this video, I mean, about this document. One, um, as I said here in red, you wanna make sure that you follow the rubric so you know exactly what you should be doing in order to receive full credit for each question. Each question is worth two points. And this rubric tells you how to receive those two points for each question. So um, you want to review that and make sure that you're hitting the rubric. Uh, also, on the last page, you have a periodic table. If that's helpful when, when calculating molar mass or whatever, you have this resource here. You can also, of course, use something online if you would like. Okay, so um, let's go into how to type an equation. And we'll do that for this example problem. So in this problem, it says how many moles are in 2.3 grams of water? Okay, so for that question, I'm converting from grams to moles. And the, my work should look something like this, right? So I'm going to have two fractions multiplied together and then to equal my answer. So to start showing my work for that, I would go ahead and go to insert at the top, insert. And then you're going to scroll down to where you see equation. It has the pi symbol. Okay, once you're in the equation editing box, you'll know your cursor is blinking inside of a little blue box. So that means you can start typing an equation. Now to type an equation, um, <clears throat> there, are, there are tools at the top here. Greek letters, miscellaneous operations, relations, and math operations. So that's where we're going to start first, because I want to start by writing my given over 1. So I need to type in a fraction. To do that, I go to the math operations, which again is 1, 2, 3, the fourth one over. And the first thing I see is A over B. That's a fraction tool. So <clears throat> my given is 2.3, and I'm going to make sure I include my units, grams. You can either type out grams or write the uh, abbreviation for grams, which is G. So I've done my denom my numerator, what's on top. I now need to go into my de denominator and write a 1 because it's given over 1. So to get to the denominator, you can either move your cursor to the denominator or what I prefer to do is I just use the right arrow, so the arrow pointing to the right on your keyboard. Type that. If you hit that, it'll take you into the denominator. And here I'm going to type in 1. Now I want to get out of the denominator and write my multiplication symbol. So for that, I'm going to, again, hit the right arrow on the keyboard, and that will take you out of the denominator. Now, you may not see your cursor, but it's there. And you can tell it's there because if you type something, it'll show up. Okay, so now we want to do the multiplication. So you can either do multiplication by typing in an X if you want, or you can go up here to the miscellaneous operations. It's the second one, and that has the multiplication symbol your choice. Okay, now we need our second fraction for our conversion factor. So again, I'm going to go to math operations. I'm going to click on that fraction. And then in for this conversion factor, I'm using the molar mass of water since I'm going from mass to moles. All right, so um, in my conversion factor, I'm trying to find moles. So one mole goes on top. And then the molar mass of water is 18.02 grams. And remember, uh, in order to go from the numerator to the denominator, I just hit the right arrow on the keyboard. Okay, <clears throat> so now I've typed in the second fraction. Um, and now I can go ahead and again click the right arrow to exit out of that. And then do my calculations. Uh, I believe for this I get 0 0.128 moles. Okay, and that's my answer. All right, so. That's how you do something like this if you're dealing with mass to mole conversion. The last thing I want to show you is how do you type in something like um, an exponent, like for Avogadro's number. What would you do in that case? 
So once again, you would go to insert by going to insert, go to equation, and then you would click on math operations once again. And I'll write this as a fraction just so you can see it. So let's say for your conversion factor, you need to have one mole over Avogadro's number. So the first thing we'll do is we'll type the fraction and we'll do one mole on top. And again, I use the right arrow to get into my denominator. And now I'm ready to do my Avogadro's number. So it's 6.02. And now I want to do time. So I'll just hit X for times in this case. 10. Now I want 10 to the power of 23. How do I get the power? To do that, you got to go back to your math operations. And what you're looking for is this one over here that has x to the power of b, right? So that's going to give you the power operation. So if you click on that, it's now, um, I can type in my 23. And actually, I did that wrong. So let me go back for a second there. All right. So I've got 6.02 and then x for my multiplication. Now I'm going to go to my math operation. Before I type the 10, I'm going to go to my math operation, hit XB. So that will allow me to type in for X, 10, and then I hit the right arrow on the keyboard to get into the power, and then I can type my 23. So just to repeat that process, I typed 6.02 and then X for my multiplication. Before I type the 10, I went here, clicked on X to the power of B, I click on that. I typed in 10 first, and then I hit over to the right to get the power. All right, so that's how something like that would look. If you weren't writing this in a fraction, it will be the same process. So let's say you weren't writing this in a fraction, um, <clears throat> and you just wanted to type it out, insert equation, and then to get to a power, let's say you wanted to do uh, 5.8. Eight, eight, seven times. All right, so now I'm going to go here. Ten to the power of twenty-five. Let's say. Okay, so that's how you would do that. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, don't forget to when you're showing your work to include your units. Have a quality day.